What is going on, Lunatics? Yesterday we talked about the repeg and how it would affect ultimately this entire environment. And listen, USTC is on a very aggressive path if this ceramic repeg proposal is valid and can be done and pulled off. USTC would immediately be repegged to $1. Now, there would be a move. There are some things to it. So they would be moved into one direction uh, to USTY to be held and then moved back over to USTC. It would virtually be the same thing. They're, they're trading the name basically, but getting to the $1 peg, that's the important part. Um, and I'm going to wait for Strathcole. I'm going to wait for some of these geniuses to really kind of break this down. It's supposed to be up on Commonwealth very soon for a discussion. So we'll see how we get there. Uh, but if you have, you know, basically, if you have 500 USTC right now, it's worth, you know, 10 cents. How do we get it from 500 to, or a uh, dollar? Uh, how do we get it to, um, how do we get to $500? That to me seems to be a complicated sort of question that, uh, you know, I'll, I'll wait for the smart guys to look up the answer to that and then I'll provide it to you as soon as I have it. In the meantime, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. We're going to talk about a few things. First and foremost, though, um, Rocket Defense is done with our season. And uh, I ended up 40th overall, so I got six hundred and I got six dollars and fifty cents, which was six hundred and fifty gem. So, um, damn, you know what I mean? Damn. Uh, but look, when you have six hundred fifty gems, that actually helps you because it allows you to level up. You get better and better and better. That makes it easier for you to compete. And in twenty one hours, the new season will start. So uh, there is still some opportunity for you uh, to get a big, 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 big win here. Uh, all you have to do is go in and play. And by the way, you can't claim your rewards yet. You'll be able to claim the rewards tomorrow. Um, here was last season over here. Um, I don't know where I ranked in this previous season. Oh, I didn't because I didn't play for a week. Um, so uh, I was not there. Anyway, let's move on. We're going to talk about price action right now. But before we do, make sure that you sign up today. There's a link in the description below, guys. Look, it helps me tremendously if you take the time, and it doesn't take you about a moment, sign up for Terra Casino using the link that I provide you below. Uh, the more signups, the more opportunities for plays, uh, the more opportunities for me to continue doing what I do here, and that's provide you with engaging content every month. Uh, you can play Rich of the Witch Wild and the Pearl of Vishnu. You, you can qualify for 2 million euros from the World Poker League from now until December 22nd. Um, that's life-changing money, guys. So um, it's a great opportunity for you. Make sure that you sign up today, and let's go. Price. All right, so uh, we got a little dip down to 10.4. And then a big spike back up to 10.8. The market seems to be in pump mode and a continuation. Now, when you look at the overall aggressiveness of the market, the market is a Bitcoin market right now. It's up 2%, while in the meantime, Ethereum is up about 1%. Some of the other projects are even down on the day, but we're getting another surge from Solana. A couple of different things are, are looking pretty good. Cardano, stuff like that. So, um, those being said, where does that leave Luna Classic? Well, what you can look at in this regard is, you know, if you take a squint a little bit, you can see here you had a consolidation in range right there, uh, consolidation right there, which led to a breakout and another new high over here. And you're seeing the same thing actually playing out over here. So you're getting into a consolidation phase one more time. Uh, with these, so that would mean that you're probably looking for another breakout and another leg up. And that leg up probably goes, um, if we were to take what happened previously and say this impulse move right here goes up into here, then what we'd be looking at is a break up into, uh, most likely uh, it'll break out towards this next range up here at around uh, three zeros fifteen. Now this doesn't uh, this trail doesn't give you that much in terms of of um, an, an idea over the uh, next couple of hours, but I would suspect that we're going to come up into this range right here on a spike, and then it would look something like this. We would have that move up into here, and then we would start to consolidate our way back down to the bottom of this channel, like we just did, and then do the same thing up here. 
same thing over here and then boom we're in that zone that i told you that we're going to be into in a short period of time because it makes perfect sense that that would be the next move and we are in a continuation phase on this market and if that is the case then we're going to continue to pump and if we continue to pump, then there's going to be a moment in time where we break out into that long trend line right there, which let me zoom out here and show you that trend line getting into this little range right here and then a breakout above and then we get to that all time high coming up very, very soon. And I think it's probably going to be a lot sooner than even I thought because the market seems to be ready for a big move and for a, red, a, a big pump. And the news about the repeg, the news about things that are happening are coming out very, very good. And I'm going to point something out to you in just a moment that should make you. Donald Trump has won the 2024 election and will be your president, the first pro-crypto president. Bitcoin currently trading at around $87,000. This is the ideal moment for effective management of your own investment portfolio since 2019. Cryptonomy has experienced exponential and substantial growth with revenue closing near 2.4 billion euros and insurance coverage of up to 6.1 billion on all company assets. Now, listen, guys, the big move here for me in my fixed staking pool, I'm going to go all in on a little bit more XRP. I've got 5,900 XRP right now. I'm going to go into the nine month for 71% return. We're going to continue. We stayed close to 6,000 XRP just now with a 71.8% return over nine months. This launch pool is blowing up. As you can see right here, open serve just went 7X. We're getting a significant yield off of that. We got 1.9 on Satoshi Dex. We had a 2.58 on Tap Protocol, 2.1 on Talent, 3.1 on Cross. All right, guys, we're going 10 Ethereum into a bronze tier contract end date November 12, 2025. I expect to make a return of at least a decent amount, 50% profit sharing. When we got that last one, it was 7X. So I'm gonna assume here that this is gonna be a real good play. If you haven't already, don't forget myself, Dean DCA, Lift Capital, Aaron Burke, we're all doing articles uh, for this organization. So if you are interested in learning a little bit more about cryptocurrency, then this is the place to go. You wanna go to cryptonomy.finance slash research. Also, if you haven't already, sign up for their Telegram. The links are in the descriptions down below. And in the next two weeks, there's gonna be a couple of big updates brought to you by all of us regarding cryptonomy.finance. Start investing now. At least pretty excited. Now, uh, as far as price action goes, still 51 million in trade volume. Uh, the question that we always have now is what about BTCC? BTCC seems to be the one that's doing most of the volume over here, most of the trade volume. So uh, we'll see what that means in the long term. But I want to point out that one of the things that seems to be happening is uh, along with that, there also seems to be just a really big amount of burn that's been happening over the last bunch of days. We had another, we had 89 million two days ago, then we had another 89 million the next day, and we got 23 million so far today. Now, hasn't really translated into USTC, but we'll get there in that regard. However, the fact that we're getting these significant amounts of burns every single day does mean that there's something positive happening in the market. So what does that look like? We have 409 million. It's now been burned over the last couple of days. I told you, you know, we want to stay above 300 million um, every week so that, you know, every seven days we have at least 300 million burn. That's 1.2 billion. Uh, then, of course, if Binance burns another 1.2 billion, that's 2.4 billion being burned per month. Now, that's insignificant in the grander scheme of things, but that's just enough, by the way, to, for people to look at it and say, hey, what is going on right here? Uh, you know, if we look at this from a chart perspective, then 409 uh, million every seven days, that's about 2 billion, roughly 4.5 uh, billion every single month, in addition to what we're getting burned from um, from from Binance, that's five six billion every single time. That puts us a little bit faster than what we currently are. Okay, so uh, and by the way, that was slow. That that was slow. We have to be honest with it. But that gives us that opportunity, and that gives us that feeling of revival. And then when the business really, really, really picks up, then it's going to be an exponential sort of growth. So the fact that we're here right now is actually a very, very good sign. Now, as far as proposals go, um, there is no chance of this new proposal passing. Um, this is a BLV Labs community spend proposal. It is not going to pass or it doesn't look like it's going to pass. Too much negativity on that one. So I don't think there's going to be anything there. Uh, if you were trading meme coins, by the way, my meme coins kind of idling from one day to the next. 
but if you want to trade them, then it is terraport.finance that you go to. We got nine days left on this unlock over here. We got 23.9 in rewards from Terra, which is down on the Lunk peg because Lunk is pumping about 8% on the day. Uh, Launchpad, Selenium, you got 27 days left to claim some Selenium. I'm only at 9,000. I told you I was going to buy some, but I didn't. I hedged on it. Um, and so now uh, if I don't get to 10,000, oh well. But uh, it, it's, you know, according to this, it's slowed down dramatically. So maybe, you know, I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens. Now, let's talk about Leonardo. So uh, there's a continuation of some of this conversation that we were having over here. If you really want to, then you could come in here and really look and start to break down uh, the ceramic posts. Leonardo Lunk right here and get an idea of what we're looking for or what is uh, looking to happen um, at Luna, right here. Um, they, they don't like this right here. I believe crypto, you have to keep in mind why CZ Binance and CZ Binance at vision reaction is crucial. Now, the reason for that is because I said yesterday, look, CZ Binance is no longer part of Binance. So what he does doesn't really matter. Okay. And Leonardo plan for repeg involves creating a new coin and listing it so basically, if Binance doesn't see positive advantages, they can vote against it and block it, which has nothing to do with CZ Binance. That's my point. Uh, we have to understand the role of Binance and the impact of CZ Binance on May 22nd on reviving our chain as a whole, which has nothing to do with 2024 CZ Binance. So what? The manager of Binance could have been some guy named Ned Taylor. And once Ned Taylor's out, it doesn't matter. It's about Binance, okay? If it weren't for CZ Binance, Lunk and his re reaction and his vision, uh, Terra blockchain as a whole would be long forgotten. And also today uh, speaking, if Binance would have gone to Lunk in a matter of seconds, you would see our market cap going to zero in a matter of minutes. Sure, but that's Binance. That's not CZ Binance. I mean, that's, it still comes down to the point that this is Binance. The fact that CZ was the CEO of it, great. But it's about Binance. It's not about CZ Binance. Um, Shang Peng Zhao, I believe his name is, um, he's no longer there. So he can't, he doesn't fulfill any obligations that we have. Now, if he becomes an advisor or if he's part of the community, sure. But at this point, he's not. So uh, Leonardo agreed to try and open communication with CZ Binance or Binance to discuss the plan for repeg. Ceramic can get their advision for ad, advice from them and benefit from their experience, which will result in easier implementation of users and exchanges. Okay, f fine. When did Binance repeg uh, something to a dollar and revive a, a zombie chain? I mean, it, never. So I don't know what um, the, the advice that they're going to, I don't know what, what the advice would be there. Uh, but if they have advice, I'm all for it. Again, since CZ Binance doesn't do anything for Binance anymore, I don't really care about CZ Binance other than he's been good for crypto. But otherwise, it's just about Binance. Uh, Binance is the most important ally for us. CZ Binance doesn't work for Binance, so it doesn't matter. But Binance is the most important ally for us. We benefited from them. We are here mostly because of them. If people don't want to acknowledge us, remember, they can vote against the proposal. They can refuse to list new USTC, and they can delist us. I, I mean... The BTCC has more volume at this point. So um, let's act accordingly. Let's not lose Binance. We benefit. And look, by the way, Binance not watching me. They don't give a shit what I have to say. So uh, and CZ doesn't watch me. He doesn't give a shit what I have to say. So the fact that I am allowed to have my own opinion and the fact that I'm allowed to dismiss CZ Binance and say, hey, CZ Binance is just not part of Binance anymore. So who cares? It is, I can do that. I can do that. And it doesn't affect the Luna Classic blockchain at all. Um, if you're looking for obedience, if you're looking for somebody who's just a yes man or something like that, uh, go go bring Levi back. He'll tell you that we're going to $122. Uh, he'll tell you that we're going to $500. He'll tell you that we're going to millions and billions and trillions and jillions. I mean, if that's what you want, if you want a yes man that's going to do that, uh, sure. But if you want somebody who's going to give you uh, sometimes pie in the sky, but a more realistic approach, you can continue to watch me. And you don't have to have CZ Binance or even Binance watching me for that to happen. So um, I appreciate it, um, but I'm not really worried about CZ Binance. I'm worried about Binance, not CZ. All right, guys, let me close this out with the final on this uh, next big move. So look, I think that next big move is going up into this golden ratio right here. Now this golden ratio to remind you is from the top of this move to the bottom of this move right here. And then, you know, this is just Fibonacci is just nature. 
Um, it's a natural occurrence in things. You tend to see it come back. If I were to break it out and show it to you over different time frames, you would see how much time we actually spend in that golden ratio, that it becomes an important area. You can see even over here, although it's not as clear, you can see that right in this range right here, that's actually a volume node. And where is that? right here in this golden ratio. So we are coming back to that golden ratio. That's going to be the start of an explosive move. And by the way, if my microphone has been having a problem, I bought a new computer. So in the next couple of days, we'll have a, an upgraded uh, microphone and everything like that. So uh, in the meantime, thank you so much for tuning in. It's not financial advice. I'm always right. CZ, I didn't mean any of that. Uh, if you don't watch CZ, I meant every word of that. Binance, uh, if, you, if you watch, I didn't mean any of that. Binance, if you do watch, I meant everything that I said. Uh, we love you. We we think that Binance is an incredibly important uh, burn mechanism and holder. And we know that you hold 2.3 trillion in supply and you want that to turn into a dollar each so that you have $2.3 trillion. But, uh, you know, we'll do the best we can for you. And uh, we'll talk to you again very, very soon.